We just got down here to Fort Myers Beach and we are seeing different areas than we did earlier because we basically have more access now to show you the beach. But I want to tell you that when we got down here, I did see two people walking along the beach here, Fort Myers Beach Mayor Dan Allers and Lee County Commissioner Ray Sandelli. And I stopped them and asked if they could go live with us just to update us. We know right now they're still, explain what's happening right now actually with all these helicopters. Uh, it looks like the sheriff's helicopter flying over. We just saw it looked like some some uh, Coast Guard that flew by just a few minutes ago over the beach. It looked like they were heading towards Captiva, so it's been kind of a helicopter day. You know, something that I want to point out compared to, you know, it's difficult to compare each hurricane because they're also drastically different. But I know from covering Hurricane Ian, we know exactly what happened then. And I will say, and I'm sure that you will agree, there's been a drastic difference in the way people treated this Hurricane Milton. Don't you agree? Oh, 100%. Uh, the fact that everyone heeded the warning and got off the island when we asked them to evacuate made a big, big, it played a big role in being able to get to where we're at today, where people can get back on the island relatively quickly. Uh, when we got back to the island about 3 o'clock this morning, we had the fire department had zero calls for rescue. So they were able to turn the island over to us very quickly. So saving that search and rescue time really expedites how fast we can get this cleaned up. The county had their crews down here. We had our crews here working. As you can see, it's not perfect yet, but at least it's opened up to our residents can get to the houses. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day we'll be able to get the contractors on the island to be able to start back to work again. Zero calls. I mean, reiterate how great that is to hear. Uh, we, uh, both the chief and I looked at each other and couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe that there were zero calls in his queue for, uh, and usually after Ian or after some of the other storms, one of the first things you hear are the re first responder uh, sirens going by, you know, the, the ambulance or whatever. Haven't heard that at all today. So, and I've been out here since 3 o'clock. Commissioner. Yes. Explain to us what you've been seeing here. And I know we're, we're all feeling the effects. You and I, when I first saw them, I said, you know, do you guys have power? That's the first thing. We're all checking in on each other. But when you first got down here, what's your reaction? Well, I, I'll go back to something you just said a little while ago. I think what the way, the way it's working is we're learning from each other. You know, the, the leadership team, whether it's the county or the town, uh, is interfacing very well and communicating very well with the residents. And so we're learning from their issues. We're sharing that with them. And so I think we're getting better as a community and as a leadership team. It seemed that that evacuation, those orders came out quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had put out, we had a meeting on Sunday. Uh, we had talked to the county before we announced it that we were going to shut the island down at 3 o'clock on Monday. They agreed they were going to follow suit or be right in line with us. They agreed on. So we wanted to make sure we all had the same message and the same timing. And then I think the next morning the commission came out with the same message. So that, I think that was key in getting people off the island. And I think it's important that we, Dan and I talk every day, sometimes multiple times. You know, we want to make sure that we're speaking with a unified voice so people don't get confused. Well, he told me that, he told me that, and I think it's working. And so people are learning, we're learning, and it's, it's working. And the results is when you have a, a challenge. And I know right now in studio, they have some questions. What are some questions that you wanted to ask Kelly and Peter? Elise, if you could please ask the mayor for people who like to go down to Fort Myers Beach, they don't live there, but that's their place they like to go on the weekend. Can they give us any sense of, is this, you know, maybe they can go back down in a week or is this going to be take a month? I will say that when our photographer and I were heading over here to the beach at the bottom of Matanzas Pass, you do have to show an ID. You have to show a reason why you're getting over here. Peter was just asking for people who love to come down here and enjoy the beach. When can they expect to get back down here? Well, we're going to need a couple of days. You know, our, our, our top priority right now is getting a sterile boulevard safe to pass for trucks and for trailers so people can get back to their houses and start working. Once we're done with that, we'll start on the beach. It doesn't look too bad on the beach, so we should be able to get that cleaned up fairly quickly once we get this taken care of. Um, it's going to be a few days, so if people will be patient and give us a couple days, we'll, we'll be able to get the beach open to enjoy those sunsets we all love. You think it's going to be a week or less than that? Um, hopefully less than a week, but it depends on the weather. We've had a, re a weird couple of weeks, so I, I don't want to promise anything, but we'll move as fast as we can. As you can see, we're moving fairly quickly today. So when this is done, we'll, we'll start on the beach or simultaneously when crews free up here, we can send them to the beach. But um, once we get that done, then hopefully we'll be back in business. Great to know. Of course, we'll keep people informed. Commissioner, any last words that you want to say to anybody or any thank you for people no. evacuating so quickly? I, I want to say thank you to everybody, including to the news teams. You know, we can put out the policy and so on and so forth. But what you communicate, how you communicate it is vitally important to us. So thank you.
Thank you so much. We appreciate you speaking with us today. Again, we're here on Fort Myers Beach. We are going to be heading to Times Square. We're going to be showing you the efforts that are along here of getting this whole area cleaned up, just like you heard, so people can get back here and enjoy our Fort Myers Beach. I do have some business owners that are going to be assessing the damage for the first time that are getting here after 4 o'clock, so we will have them on air in about an hour. We'll be speaking with them. Live here on Fort Myers Beach, Elise Chingari, back to you.